what's up guys welcome to the nardi i'm danny and uh, today guys uh, finally finally i'm going to give you guys a data review i know i know i'm late i said that i'm going to do the review on saturday or sunday but come on guys you know life happens shit happens and yeah and you just have to roll through it yeah so i think you guys know i'm just making a big deal of something that ha- arbitrarily happened in my life so anyways guys so the daredevil review uh, so i hope you guys finally uh, caught up with the daredevil season 3 uh and if you guys haven't watched the previous seasons uh, i suggest you go watch that and then catch up with the se- season 3 and then watch this video i know it sounds uh, lo- a lot but please do it so daredevil season 3 the, well uh, spoiler alert but this review is going to be uh, i think most of this review is going to be uh, really positive about daredevil season 3 there are one or two negatives but i'm just nitpicking over here so let's start with where daredevil starts off so here i mean in the last season we we saw that you know matty is kind of uh, you know in between whether he should uh, put up the daredevil mantle so he completely gives up the daredevil life and uh, here we uh, resume season 3 from uh, the ending of defenders Ma- the marvel the defenders so here we see him in a church you know he's all battered and bruised and here we kind of see the new origin of daredevil not, not like origin but like a resurrection of uh, daredevil so here we see uh, he is actually contemplating whether he should go back to that life or uh, whether he should be mad murdock and uh, in this season we see that he is more of daredevil than mad murdock so uh, so that's a pretty nice change compared to season 1 and 2 start with the pro let's start with the pro so the pro is the first of all i have to say the black suit the black suit is so good it is back like i know i really like the daredevil costume I and mean the the red costume but the, the black suit is something there is something stealthy and badass about it so i really liked uh, that they bought the the black suit back for this season and i wish that he would wear the red suit again but no this time uh, the bulls are actually uh, wore that suit for the entire season so yeah so that was something different talk about matty uh, here um, he actually goes to the church uh, i mean he recovers in the in the church where he was brought up his uh, where, where he was brought up i think that was his orphanage so here we see a nice dynamic relation between him and the sister maggie so that is actually a pretty nice uh, back and forth uh, that they keep going on in the season and i have to say uh, they did it really well and also obviously we get to know a later later point of time that uh, that sister is actually uh, his, his mother she doesn't willingly uh, help him but you know she gives him some advice sage advice here and there so that is pretty nice to see so she, she was kind of like maddie's backbone and so like ma- kind of maddie's moral compass so as you could say that but it was nice to nice to see the maggie character and uh, moving on from that uh, Uh, we also get to see a lot more of Karen Karen Page uh, we haven't seen so much of her from season 2 and 1 maybe but we did see a lot of her you know like not just her as in like as a as a role person and doing her own journalistic uh, adventures in new york so that was pretty pretty nice to see and she was like have a kind of uh, yeah, intimidating others like wilson fisk uh, that scene where she tries to intimidate wilson fisk that was that was really good really good so stuff like that by canon page was really good but i have to say one gripe about this season would be uh, i mean i know i'm nitpicking here because this season was so good but still i have to nitpick uh, if i can one thing was we didn't get to see a lot of foggy i mean we did get to see some parts about foggy like the loan that his brother took from uh, one of fisk's uh, bank stuff like that but we didn't see you know foggy with matt and in the whole arc of the story so we didn't get to see that type of foggy in this season 3 but it's okay i'm not complaining it was pretty good moving on from foggy to wilson uh, fisk wilson fisk i have to say the shining light of this see entire series and also the season 2 i mean wilson fisk is amazing vincent d'onofrio is an amazing wilson fisk i don't think anyone else could pull off wilson fisk like how he does because whenever you you imagine wilson fisk you 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 know immediately go to vincent d'onofrio and his character that he plays uh, as wilson fisk so i have to say again wilson fisk you know top notch job by vincent d'onofrio right and we also get to see another side of uh, wilson fisk where he's like the puppet master where he controls everyone uh, uh, just by staying inside a room and uh, like no one knows no one has any clue about what he is doing so that is a very nice mix and match of how wilson fisk can not only be a very dangerous character like one on one but also he's a very very crafty guy so that is very nice to see and also there was some new introduction uh, like uh, the fbi agents uh, uh, the indian fbi agent i, I don't I, i i can't really simply call his name or whatever but he, he was a pretty nice timid character who actually balanced out the role uh, and pretty well pretty well i would say yeah pretty well that was actually a pretty nice addition to the to the cast 
Okay, now now the main the main character that was introduced in this season was Bullseye. Bullseye. Uh, the actor uh, who was introduced for Bullseye was uh, his name was Wilson something. Uh, if you guys know what his name is, just you know write his name down in the comment section below. Uh, Bullseye. The actor who played Bullseye was really good. I mean, really good. You get to see Bullseye's uh, uh, transition from uh, being uh, very methodical and uh, great FBI agent to a psychopath and also sometimes an un unstable human, mentally unstable human being. So it was a really pretty nice mix and match uh, and. And uh, as, as we saw that Wilson Fisk played uh, played really well in manipulating uh, Bullseye very well. So that was pretty nice to watch. Like I said, Wilson Fisk was like the puppet master for this season. So that was amazing to see. Uh, and also Bullseye uh, was so good. Like his acting was so good on the point. All the scenes where he was very mental, mentally unstable. Those scenes were great. You know, like he really sold it. Now let's talk about the fight scenes. Like Daredevil obviously had some really pretty iconic if I, if I can say that, pretty iconic fight scenes uh, in the past two years. So, yeah, so the fight scenes in Daredevil again in season three, they laid it out to perfection, like from the season one, from the hallway scene, which is pretty iconic. I could say it's pretty iconic. Yeah, it is pretty iconic. That scene was so good and they actually delivered and they actually improved a little bit from this season too by not only in the in the, in the point of uh, Maddie that is Daredevil but also by Bullseye I mean the scene where Bullseye uses any kind of any sort of material flying around and he just makes a weapon out of it and he just throws here and there there and it just ricochets off to Daredevil or any of his opponent was amazing to see like the way that they implemented that office fight uh, the, like the way that they implemented all the scene, all the materials from the office uh, when uh, uh, Bullseye was fighting with uh, Daredevil, that was that was so good. Like I was really impressed by that fight. I mean, Daredevil's gonna be really irritated because you never know what's gonna come flying at you when Bullseye throws something at you. It's like a very interesting fight for us fans to watch because. Uh, the way that Bullseye ricochets from one part of the room to another, you know, he uses so many things like the scene where he uses chandeliers, uh, so he uses that glass chandelier to throw it at Daredevil. So that uh, scenes like that, you know, made made like made Bullseye really stand out. So I have to say, the fight scene, the choreography was so very, very, very good. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there were a few things in this season that was wrong, and uh, like like I pointed out one or two that that was mainly picking, but still, like I pointed one or two that was just here and there. But those are completely ignorable so just ignore them so let's talk about the post credit scene before i end this video let's talk about the post credit scene so in the post credit scene we get to see you know matty and foggy and uh, karen sitting down and talking about you know uh, how matty is gonna come back they're gonna you know resume their law firm again and then karen would help them you know in the business aspect and also in the research aspect so that was good to see now we know that nelson and murdoch is back so that's amazing to hear that so we so then i think i presume in the next season we will not only be able to see daredevil i mean the, all the fight scenes all the daredevil scenes hardcore daredevil scenes but also a little bit of uh, you know legal system legal work and those you know criminal maybe courthouse scenes you know something like that we also get to see another post credit scene where we see bullseye where he's being operated and uh, we get to see that uh, the doctors are actually implementing a new kind of spine into him that was an adamantium spine so this goes back to the comic book uh, bullseye where he has an adamantium spine and that actually enhances his, his abilities that he already has right now like maybe like he has uh, extra build damage or uh, extra resistance uh, and his uh, throwing capability is much more advanced now i mean in the next season so if bullseye is introduced we will see a much more hardcore and much more deadlier version of bullseye so that's amazing and uh, i would love to see that that was the post credit of daredevil season 3 also guys uh, do let me know if you guys enjoyed season 3 as much as i did because i really 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 liked it and uh, yeah if there are something that i missed uh, do let me know down in the comment section below so yeah so that was my take on uh, daredevil if i have to give a rating on this uh, daredevil season 3 uh, i would give it uh, if matty is a 4 and if daredevil is a 23 i would give it a bullseye so that's my rating figure it out so thank you for watching this video guys please like share comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of contents that i'm putting out on the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon because you need to get that notification right whenever I upload a video. And that's it for this video guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.